Couple crucial items to keep things moving really fast. First and foremost, I'm on a Mac, and the first item on the list is stack two finder windows. I am going to just move these two clips from the mag to my quote hard drive. What I typically do first is create the folder structure. So I will put the date 2203.25 and in there I'll put an 01 premiere, 02 footage, and new folder is command shift N, put a 99 exports. Shout out to Alex Delaney if you ever see this for ingraining these numbers and folder orders into my head. Footage I'll put raw because sometimes you gotta make transcodes and I will place these. This is a perfect example why having stacked finder windows work well because you can go in here and move these here. So now I have DaVinci Resolve and Premiere open. The first thing I'll do is bring footage into DaVinci. And this is the key tip here. What you wanna do is right click and hold down option and select copy this folder as a path name. If you ever wanna to get to that folder, it's Command Shift G and I'm gonna paste that in there and it will take me to that folder. And then from then on out, it will stay pasted in there. So I can just click Command Shift G Enter and it will always bring me to this project folder. I'm gonna bring this into Resolve. Total side note, if you map the HDR wheels to the camera, these exposure and color tools work very, very similarly to changing exposure in camera. So I would recommend doing that. This is where this copy this file name comes into play. So I'm gonna export these transcodes. I'm just gonna click Command Shift G Enter and it goes right into the folder that I was in and I'm gonna make a new folder, transcodes. And I'm gonna speed through this. And next thing we wanna do is create a new Premiere project. I don't want to go click in hard drive, click in here, especially if, I mean here it's simple, but if if you have tons of things on here and you were like deep in a folder over here, you don't wanna to have to go navigate to this. So Command Shift G, Enter, brings you here and I will save this in Premiere. Command Shift G, Enter, Transcodes, New Timeline, chop it up a little. And we have an edit that we want to send back to DaVinci Resolve to color grade. Export XML, Command Shift G, Enter, put it in the XML folder. Then we are back in Resolve and we want to import our XML. See, this is, this is a mess right here. This, for some odd reason, this is deep in the, in the accounts on here and it's just, let's just not worry about scrolling around here, looking through here, Command Shift G, Enter. We want to render them out. Browse. Even when we're in this folder, I could just scroll over here and click color, but it's just so much easy. Command Shift G, Enter. Back to the start, color. Render these out. Export an XML. Again, Command Shift G, Enter. Back to Premiere. Okay, so I'm gonna make a new bin for my color graded timeline. And I'm going to import Command Shift G, Enter. So we have our clips here. I don't know what happened there, but just ignore that. Uh, what happened was that I did not click use unique file name, so just disregard that. And then we wanna export this out to our final 
file. We just happen to be in here, but Command Shift G, enter, 99 exports, export this. So unbelievably fast, it makes things so much easier when you're just working in a project that you need to be moving around a lot during the day. Photoshop files, images, After Effects, everything. It's key to have your project in one folder so that you can always paste back to this folder with Command Shift G. You don't want your things spread out all over the place and you don't want multiple different types of projects in one folder unless it's like a folder for the month and then within that folder you have each one of these folders. Another key thing that I do is uh, typically all of this will be in Dropbox besides well, the raw footage will be in Dropbox too, but it will be online only. So I would um, have the entire project in Dropbox and stored on an external hard drive. So on the Dropbox, I would have this folder structure and on the external hard drive, I would have pretty much just O2 footage and raw and any of the huge files that I don't want to be on my computer and then low res transcodes here. Try this out and you will be moving fast. Peace.